morning, uh, this is Owen speaking from Vito TV and I'm right now here at the Inter Club and having the honor and pleasure to be with us here, the Ministry of um, Suriname and, and I would like to interview him and get to know more about the country that he's hunting. Good morning sir, so it's a pleasure to have you here in our country and this is our opportunity to know more about your country. May, may you can you can possibly right now um, have your introduction to the audience. Yes. I am Prahlad Siudin and uh, I'm the Minister of Agriculture and I'm a husbandry and fisheries of Suriname. Most of the people I know that they don't know where Suriname is, but we are in, uh, located in South, in South America on the northern part of Brazil. So in, uh, I'm here on the, I'm, we are part of the Expo 2000 here in Dubai. Great. And we have a booth over there, and uh, we have our people you know, standing on the booth to put, first of place, to put Suriname on the world map. That's you know, and, uh, Because people don't know where Suriname is. We are That's just, right. You we know. are a very small country, yeah. half a million population, yes. but we have the potential there and uh, for investments in the agriculture sector. That's great. So, currently you're here on a visit and how long you'll be taking or um, take um, the time that you will be with us and then having us to know more about your country your beautiful country I'm sure and um, you will be here for some time and how, how many days is that yeah no and only for four days over four days there. okay but you know the and the expo started last year in October correct so the, the boot is there sir sure, Miss boot and it will be till the end of the, the, the expo. This is on the 31st of March. Exactly, exactly. So I was here in, uh, last year in November okay. uh, with our president, Mr. Chandrika Prasad Santoki. Uh, but then we, were, we had all kind of official meetings. So this time I, and, uh, I took my time to be here because there was a huge demand of uh, the business people who wanted to know more about Serena and especially uh, the uh, possibilities of, uh, how you say, that investments in the egg, in the sector. Right. So that's why I'm here. Met a lot of people, business people. And, and you had participated as well to the Mahabis yesterday. Yes, yes, oh, correct. Great, great. Yes. Are you surprised? Yes, very surprised that they've got like more than 600 attendees for that, and uh, <laughs> it's a very successful event. I'm quite surprised, and uh, you know. Um, having such kind of a huge crowd yes. and and then happening in one day and everyone was very happy and we were very grateful that we've such we've got such a great event that happens only twice a year and we were more than happy as well to meet a lot of entrepreneurs mm -hmm. yeah um it's it's a good platform that i could see from all over you know within the um, horizons in UAE and then we've had invited the diversified nationalities as well. I heard that Suriname right now is the first time to um, join the expo. That's true. Okay. Indeed, that's okay. right. Yeah. So I'm um, pretty much excited of what could you offer in your pavilion in the expo? Well, and uh, you know, of course, the total industry of Suriname including tourism, mm -hmm. but uh, I'm focused on agriculture. Okay. So if you visit the booth, you will find information about an, uh, where an, uh, in investments could be done. That's true. And uh, how much area is available for that, mm -hmm. the soil types, what kind of crops can grow on it. But I can tell you, we have an, uh, a few million acres of land available for investment. Mm -hmm. And we, the soil type is perfect for different crops, right. and it, uh, but it's all in a map, so people can visit the booth and uh, get all that information. Is it, um, what's the special um, um, crops or, or uh, what is well known for Suriname that they produce a lot and export to other countries? Uh, the two major crops are rice okay. and, and banana. Right. We have plenty of rainfall and our rice culture is and uh, totally mechanized mm -hmm. from okay. preparing the land, sowing with airplane, fertilizing with airplane, and then uh, harvesting with combined harvesters. Just totally mechanized. Mm -hmm. uh, the banana industry there, we need a lot of labor. Mm -hmm. But our seafood, the, 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 the because you're you're surrounded by water. Oh, by water, by the sea, the okay. Atlantic Ocean. Mm -hmm. So we Are have you considered your country as an archipelago as well as like the Philippines? 
No, no, that's it. You're, you're no, surrounded no, with water. No, no, only in the northern part. So yes, the northern okay. part is in a. It's more on water. Right, right. You know, okay. That's the Atlantic Ocean. Mm -hmm. But in a, in the southern part we have Brazil, in the western part we have in a, yeah. Guyana, mm -hmm. and the eastern part is France, right. French Guyana. Right. So Suriname is well known for what in the whole world. The, uh, let's let's promote the country now. <laughs> no, no. And uh, what we are seeing, we are the greenest country in the world. Wow. Okay. And 95% uh, of the, the, the total acreage, the whole area, is covered by a uh, forest. Right. So only 5% is in, uh, is has been open for agriculture okay. and other purposes. And what we are mm -hmm. trying to uh, promote is people come and visit Suriname because we have the nature there. It's this Amazon. It's a part right. of the Amazon. Right. So you will have fresh air. Yeah. The water is fresh. It's not polluted. Mm -hmm. You have the the, 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 the rainforest mm -hmm. over there with all kind of key creatures of God, you know, and uh, animals, insects, plants, mm -hmm. but also medical plants for medical purposes. For herbal. Herbal, right. right. It's okay. very popular. And, you know, we have different uh, ethnic groups living in Suriname. Mm -hmm and one part is living in the interior. So they are well known with the, with the, 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 the herbal medicines and mm -hmm. come and enjoy it. Nowadays, you know, the, the trend is don't go in a uh, chemical, go in a uh, natural. Yeah, natural right. and organic. And organic, yeah. and that's what we are promoting. That's right. good, that's good. So, um, can we know what's the best tourism destination that Suriname could offer? Within Suriname? Yes. The whole country. You just okay. come, you're at the airport, yeah. and there are a lot of rivers flowing. Okay. Okay. So just contact one of the, the, the agencies, the right. tourism agencies. Any place, you can say a destination yeah, that you could if, if, be craving to go there. But it, uh, it, I, let me see the one with the interior. So yes. you'll decide on a map where you want to go. Okay. If you want to see a lot of waterfalls, okay. and, uh, or maybe and uh, some type of trees or the, okay. the, 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 the medical plants and uh, so it's part of your ecotourism as exactly. well exactly okay exactly. Right. great great so is there any other parting words for the viewers of Wheaton tv that they need to know about suriname your very beautiful country no at the end what i want to say is uh, please visit suriname and uh, at least once in, in your lifetime yeah and come and enjoy the nature over there uh, and it's God given just like that. We didn't interrupt that much in the, in the nature. So please come and visit uh, Suriname one day.